ladies and gentlemen welcome in welcome back to another dark and darker patch notes video with hot fix number 15 coming october 5th 2023 at 2 45 p.m getting to it a little bit late due to being out and about running errands but the patch notes read fixed an issue where the bard's war song was not applying to teammates fixed an issue where newly added crafted items could not be used even if the class has been eligible perk equipped. Fix an issue where Ghost King's debuff area effect was not visible. Fix an issue where players could be killed by traps from upon respawning at the sacrificial altar. Fix an issue where portals were not displayed properly. Fix an issue where monsters would get stuck in certain spots in the goblin cave and could not move. Barbarian's iron wills additional magic resistance has been changed from 160 bards B of Alcurity. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Additional move speed changed from 15, 20 to 25 to 5, 10, 15. Bards harmonic shield, armor rating, and magic resistance changed from 40, 40 to 15, 15. Warlock's torture mastery healing attribute ratio bonus has been changed from 50% to 25%. Warlock's Illiterate Shield Magic Damage Absorption changed from 40 to 25. Dark Magic Damage Bonus changed from 40% to 20%. And Cost changed from 5 to 10. Warlock's Hydra Cost changed from 15 to 20. Warlock's Ray of Darkness Dark Magic Damage has been changed from 3 to 7. And the Cost has been changed from 5 to 10. War Mole's Armor Penetration has been changed from 30 to 20%. Chris Dagger's animation has been modified. The primary modifier for many items have been adjusted. The random modifiers for items have all been adjusted. All legacy items are now gone. Options that are uh, removed or have their min-max values changed will be re-ruled or rescaled to accommodate the new data. Fountain of Speed, additional move speed changed from 70 to 50. Uh, dungeons now drop high quality items much more frequently and in greater quantities from all chests and sub bosses. Merchants no longer sell as many uncommon green or rare blue items as before. You can no longer preview the random modifiers from the Jack O' Lantern's merchandise. Merchants or matchmaking below level 40 has now been removed. All right. Well, there you go, fellas. Dark and darker patch notes for hot fix number 15. Disappointing that they removed the matchmaking for below level 14s. I anticipated in some of those special leveling up some tunes. It was actually pretty good. Uh, just for the fact that um, you didn't have to worry about running into people with four perks. That's basically of the about it. Yeah, you know I mean, so if you if you didn't have four perks and uh, you're running in trying to level to level 15, you had the knowledge that you ain't gonna be running into someone above 15. Um, they probably could uh, lower it down, maybe uh, low 12. Would have probably been a better uh, little ratio, but not a big deal. But was kind of nice uh, when leveling up tunes and or just using the knowledge of use a character below level fourteen when you're uh, trying to pop some things off. Haven't been, uh, I haven't really played uh, Dark and Darker really uh, for. Um, Janko lanterns yet so no knowledge on that the bards little nerfing that's hitting pretty hard uh kind of un uncalled for really um probably gonna be buffed up coming up i don't know why uh you know in dark and darker they uh they buff debuff later on that was a bad change we're buffing it back but it is what it is at this point they're gonna have to fine tune with what they uh, they think is fine tuning. Probably got more insight in uh, what us players can see. 
But until then, fellas, see some of you in the dark and others beware of the mighty swarm.